dirty. Pretty dirty. So all I'm doing here is just depriming some cases. And we're going to show you a homemade recipe on how to get this stuff cleaned up. It's going to be really cheap. But it works. So let's get a close up just to see how dirty these cases are. They're all about the same. I've got several in here. Primer pockets are pretty dirty. So, let's see how we can clean these up. What we're going to use is the Hornady Ultrasonic Cleaner. This is the smaller version, but it works very well. I've been using it for, oh geez, probably a couple, couple years now, almost, and uh, very happy with it. But we need to find out what kind of solution we're going to use. So, let's take a look at that. So let's look at these simple ingredients. Some salt. I happen to use kosher salt just because I usually have some. I use the Dawn Ultra. Uh, you can, I've, I've used other stuff too, it works okay. And distilled white vinegar, just cheap stuff. Now on top of that, you're gonna need four cups of water. Um, I typically start out using this here uh, just kind of lukewarm uh, because the ultrasonic machine is going to heat this water up. So you don't want to get this machine too hot. So just lukewarm water is fine. You can actually start with cold. I prefer lukewarm, but it actually works either way. So the first thing we're going to do, dump this in here. Now we're going to add one cup of the white vinegar. So it's a four to one. I do not measure the salt. People say a teaspoon or something, but I just I just kind of ballpark it. That's about that's pretty close. And also about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of soap. So a squirt. Especially with the ultra, you don't want to go too crazy with the ultra. So if you take a look inside here. It's going to look, it's not mixed, right? So we want to stir this up just a little bit. So I just take my finger and just kind of work it around, let that uh, salt dissolve a little bit, let the soap kind of mix in with the, with the warm water. Just takes a second. I don't feel any more salt in there at all now, so I think we're good. Now, here we go. All of our dirty brass right on in. I'll stir this <clears throat> just a little bit and the reason I want, want to do that is just because I don't want any air trapped in my cases so try to keep them underwater when you're stirring them just like so and lid on I'm going to set this whoops, for 480 seconds. We're probably going to run this uh, anywhere between two and four times. We'll come back and check each time. So here we go. So you may have noticed we pop the primers out first before we clean them. And the reason being is because we want those primer pockets completely clear of the primers so the solution can get in there and effectively remove as much carbon as that mixture can possibly do. So I know a lot of people that do clean cases with the primers still installed and that's not a bad idea necessarily if you're tumbling the cases in some sort of a media uh, because you don't want to excessively wear out the primer pockets. Now I don't know that I necessarily buy into that. Um, I've run many 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 cases through tumbling media with the primer primers removed from the pockets and I've never had an issue until the cases are just flat wore out which is usually several 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 loadings up in oh I don't know if I'm just neck sizing 15 to 20 sometimes even more depending on how hot I run my loads so yeah I don't know um, but definitely for this pop those primers out so you can get this as clean as you possibly can 
and allow that water to flow back and forth through the inside of the case. So we'll check on this here in 344 seconds. End of cycle one. Looking better already. Let's go to cycle two. End of cycle two. I can actually see the carbon dripping out of this into the water. It's pretty cool. So this is what it's starting to look like now. Nice clean necks. Primer pockets have just a tiny, tiny bit of carbon left in there. I'm going to go ahead and run this for, I think, one more cycle. And mix this up one more time. So on the cycles in this Hornady here, they run by the second, so up to 480 seconds, which is eight minutes. So it's been in here for 16 minutes. We're gonna go one more time. Uh, now, I have a bowl of water here, just warm water, and you wanna make sure that, uh, that you have this handy because you want it, when you pull this out, all these bullets out of here, throw them in there, rinse them a little bit, take them in the house, run them under warm water, and get those nice and clean. So here we go back for round three. And this cycle is done. Dry this off a little bit here so we can get a good look at it. There is the clean brass. Now it looks a little bit discolored up here. Uh, the reason for that is because this is Lapua brass. They do such a great job annealing it that uh, it leaves it just kind of an off color, but it's it's quite clean. Uh, I know it's going to be really hard, if not impossible. Yep, impossible for you guys to see inside the neck, but I can see it. And it is quite nice and clean. So, next step here, into some nice lukewarm water for a good rinse. Into the house under the sink to finish off that rinse and then what we're going to do is lay these on a paper towel. Normally I would put a little uh, tin foil down and bake them on in the oven at the lowest setting uh, for about five minutes and that just gets them nice and dry right away. But it's like 90 something here today. I am not turning on my oven. So what we're going to do is just take these out put them in the sunshine, and let nature take its course. Nice and rinsed. Just kind of patted dry, but they're still kind of wet, so just shake them off and we'll set them on our paper towel. So we'll just take all our cases here, set them out here in the sunshine on the tailgate, and just uh, let them dry. They'll actually dry quite quick. That is some dirty, murky water. But the nice thing about it is, I don't have to worry about how to dispose of it because there's really nothing bad in here. For those of you who don't know, vinegar, water, salt, and soap is one of the best grass and weed killers out there. I always try to pour that out the back side so I don't get any any water around the face here. Right on that stubborn grass that keeps coming up through my gravel. That'll be dead by tomorrow. All right, so they're done baking in the sunshine. So, all nice and clean, uh, nice and dry. They were out there for probably 20 minutes, pretty hot today. Uh, in fact, we're supposed to break records today in the heat, like 97 here. Um, but real nice clean, the primer pockets turned out really nice. 
there's just a tiny, tiny bit of carbon right around the edge of the flash hole, but no big deal, because um, I'm going to scrape those out just anyways, just part of my process. So no big thing there. Um, now, when you talk about cost, what's the cost of a gallon of uh, distilled white vinegar? It's like 250 or three bucks. Sometimes we find it on sale, we'll buy a couple gallons at a time. Um, you know, a bottle of Dawn Ultra dish soap, a couple bucks, uh, you know, a thing of uh, either kosher salt or like rock salt or something like that. Make, make sure it's a coarse salt. Um, that's, you know, a couple bucks. So realistically for under like $10, um, you, you can whip up a batch of this stuff here pretty quick and you can use it more than once, uh, you know. So there's been times where I'll do like, uh, if, if the family goes out shooting, I'll do, you know, all mine empty them out, do a load for the wife, do a load for the kids, uh, and, and it works just as, just as well. By the time you're done, that, that, that solution is filthy, but it still works. And make sure you just rinse it really well. Um, now, this little Hornady here, and it is rather small. Um, now, depending on what you're trying to load, you know, if, if you go out, if you're loading a whole bunch of like 223 or something like that, and you, you need to load up like two, three, four hundred rounds, you're gonna have to do a couple batches. That's the biggest complaint on this thing, not for me personally, but from what I've read on the internet, it doesn't hold a lot. Uh, but that's not our game here. Our game is to build precision ammo and not a whole bunch of crap ammo. And so I don't mind doing small batches. In fact, I think it's a lot better. Now, um, <clears throat> the these are offered on Amazon. I'm gonna use an affiliate link and drop it below. So if you're interested in one of these, check it out. Uh, because it does help support this channel, it doesn't cost you anything extra. I think I've said that before, but uh, but it does really help support our channel. So, anyways, um, these are great. I've never had this thing hiccup or fail or anything. Um, it's it's been a really really good machine. And when you look at it, we we ran this thing for about 24 minutes uh, on on the three three cycles at 480 seconds, which is eight minutes piece and whatever. And um, 24 minutes versus to get them that clean versus a tumbler. How much time do you spend? tumbling brass that's real dirty in a tumbler to get it that clean and I've tumbled it for as much as two hours and that's even with new media and a lot of times I'll add a little bit of Brasso in or some of the Cabela's brand stuff or whatever and it does come out nice it just takes a long long time and it's three times four times as loud and you know it just drives you up the wall especially if you're trying to have a conversation during a class or something like that or, or you know whatever's going on and it's in the background drives you nuts uh, this thing here just and it's pretty quiet and if we're if, if we're doing a little class in here or something and and there's a little bit of noise from this thing here a lot of times I'll just take a towel and just drape a towel over it and that actually helps deaden the noise so very impressed with this now if you're doing a whole bunch of you know huge quantities you may want to they do make a larger one so you may consider stepping up to a larger one but uh, for, for our purposes this works very very well uh, along with that solution now you can I'm sure if anybody out there already owns uh, some sort of an ultrasonic cleaner um, you'll you've probably bought solution before and it's not cheap it's as much as 20 bucks for a bottle and that thing might a bottle might get you Oh, I think I got about uh, 20 fills in this here out of a bottle of the RCBS stuff. And it works, I think it works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but I do believe that the solution that we make homemade is better. And so, anyways, uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other videos on this. And I've, I've been using this for uh, quite a while now. And it, it's always worked uh, flawlessly. So, um, but I just wanted to pass that along if nobody else has ever seen this. It's a it's a really, really simple thing to do. It's cheaper than most other alternatives, and it works. And that's the biggest thing. It works, and it works very well. So that's uh, that's my news for the day. So anyways, uh, hey, thanks for watching. And gosh, we're up over 800 subscribers now. So, man, I'm just... I can't wait till we hit over a thousand because we're, we're gonna do some uh, some live stuff and do a lot of Q and A and uh, things like that. So, um, and our business is also going to be branching out uh, for anybody local at least, uh, doing some uh, some concealed carry classes and uh, what it what it really means to to conceal carry and some of the pros, some of the cons because uh, there are cons to this and some of the laws uh, that, that things that you just need to be aware of so anyways just throwing that out there but uh 
Hey, uh, thanks again for watching and all the support. I uh, really, really appreciate it, everybody. And keep the comments coming, keep the shares going, keep the likes coming. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been phenomenal. I really, really enjoy it and enjoy all the camaraderie with you folks out there. So uh, until next time, we'll see you soon.